Hello everyone, this video is regarding my internship at the Sparks Foundation under GRIP that is Graduate Internship Rotational Program. I have successfully completed task 2 under web and mobile development task which is the basic banking app. My name is Shushank HP and this is my project demo. My project comes under web and mobile development task. Here I have chosen task number 2 that is basic banking app. Here we need to create a simple mobile app which has the following basic specs like to create a dummy data in mobile using SQLite database for up to 10 users and it should have tables which have basic fields such as name, email, current balance etc. The transfer table that records all the transfers done using the app. And the flow is simple, it should have a home screen and then a list of all the customers, then the transferring of money stuff and then a transport table which shows all the records it should not have any login page or no new customer creation or anything it should just have the basic functionalities of a banking app now let's get into our android studio and check out the code This is my code, uh, here you can check out all the java files and the xml files I have made use of and created. This is the main activity page and here I have all my layout set up the activity main xml uh, and this is the home page of the banking system app. Next I have various pages for uh, users to list out all users to uh, check individual users data and the transfer history the splash screen um, and various pages to check out the user's details. Next in the drawable we have various uh, vector designs for, that we have used within the app for example the phone or the search icon or uh, the rounded buttons that I've used throughout the uh, app and the arrows and the three buttons and any other such logos and also the images that are made use of for the home screen and other screens next we have the more custom colors and strings and styles that are made use of in the app now let's run the app and check out the demonstration of the project First we have a small animated splash screen and then we jump into our home screen. Once you click on view users you can uh, check out the list of viewers that are added in the database. You can uh, check out uh, their name, their phone number and the current balance that they have in their account. Each uh, user has a unique bank ID or bank number or uh, the account number that is used to identify the user. make any transaction first we need to click on the user and uh, when you click on the user you can check out all the details of the user like the mobile number name email id account number ifsc code and the current balance that they have in their account similarly when you click on any user you can check out their details next to transfer any amount from one user to other user first you need to pick a user and then click on transfer money then you need to enter the amount you need to transfer for now I'll keep it as 500 and click on set in case if you try to click on cancel it will ask a prompt again if you really want to cancel it or not if you cancel it you cancel the transaction now I'll try to send it to another user I click on send you get the list of users that are already in the database to whom you need to transfer the money now let's choose a user, ok, uh, I'll choose Sony. When you click on the user, you can check the notification which says transaction successful which means Sony has been credited 500 rupees and the money has been updated in their uh, bank accounts and you can check the transactions in the transaction history. The first time uh, we cancelled it so it's failed, the second time we sent it so it is success. 
similarly you can do it with the other users too just click on the user you need to uh, transfer from and then click uh, now try to click I'll try to transfer more amount like 500 then you get an uh, notification saying your account does not have enough balance so you can only send amount that is within your balance you can't send more once the transaction is completed again you can open the history tab to check out the transactions made as it was a successful transaction it, it shows success so this is how the project works and this is the video demonstration of the project I have left a link in description for github where you can find all the code thanks a lot for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel for more content thank you